Yeah, faster, faster. slower. Dr. Noel DeCuna and his wife Jackie have invited resident physicians and clerkship students in Westlock for a day at the lake. This is Long Island Lake. It's a half hour drive north of Westlock. Dr. DeCuna wants to give them a taste of the rural lifestyle. Most of the medical students and residents have just started their training in Westlock. Some will be here for a full year. For Dr. DeCuna, teaching them new skills is a labor of love. Well, I enjoy it. I think having young doctors, students, residents coming through, you know, it's stimulating. It keeps me interested. It keeps me on my tools, so to speak. He's a fantastic preceptor. I feel very fortunate to be paired up with him. He strikes a great balance of giving me some autonomy and, and provides like excellent cool. guidance and a lot of wisdom. Preceptors are one of the most powerful tools for the recruitment of new physicians to rural Alberta communities. Several of Dr. DeCuna's former residents have set up practice alongside him at the Associate Medical Clinic in Westlock. I saw his kind of commitment and dedication uh, to his patients, to his community, which was uh, really inspiring for me. Very calm, cool, and collected at all times. Like I was involved in some pretty scary deliveries with him and nothing shook him. He was always very solid, which as a patient and as a learner, I really appreciated. The doctors that we've had over the years, we've been very, very fortunate. We're community builders and, and Dr. DeCuna is just that. Dr. DeCuna loves golf. He lives next to the Westlock Golf Club. He often gets an early nine in before work and invites residents to join him. He's an active volunteer in the community. He's organized charitable golf tournaments and has volunteered with the Westlock Elks and Knights of Columbus. So how did Dr. DeCuna end up practicing in Westlock? After all, he was born in India and raised in Uganda. Well, for starters, he knew from an early age he would be a physician. Both my parents were physicians there, so I, as I was growing up, uh, just, I don't know, just uh, assumed I'd be a doctor one day. <laughs> when he was 16, Uganda became a dangerous place to live. So he and his family fled as refugees to England. He enrolled in medicine, met his future wife, Jackie, and then after graduation, accepted a position in Manville, Alberta, population 800. When he accepted the position, he wasn't even sure where exactly in Canada Manville was. A wonderful move, because he came to a small town and Rural Alberta made really good lasting friends. A little over four years later, he moved to the larger rural community of Westlock because he wanted to utilize more of his training, such as obstetrics, but still stay rural. 33 years and close to 2,000 baby deliveries later, he's still practicing here. And the reason we're still here is that I have lived on four continents and really as far as I'm concerned, this is the best place in the world to live. Dr. DeCuna makes regular visits to this senior center in Westlock. So how are you doing? Oh, not too bad. His patients love the care he provides. He saw my husband through two bouts of cancer. He was so good with him. I attribute him to my husband, saving my husband's life. Dr. DeCuna delivered all of Rachel Schiller's children. Her third delivery had serious complications. I had a huge postpartum hemorrhage after, and I was very, very unwell, to the point where Dr. DeCuna rode with me in the ambulance to Edmonton after my third delivery. And he stayed with me until I was up into the room and settled with the other physicians. That is something for myself and my husband that we will never forget, because it was, the very, it was a very scary time. Dr. DeCuna diagnosed Alice's husband with cancer. He was rushed to Edmonton for surgery. It was a frightening time for the couple. But two days later, he phoned me on my cell and he said, Alice, I want to know how you're doing. I want to know how your husband's doing. And he was very, sorry, he was very good. Like he just gave that piece that we needed as the support. And that's what you need when you're in a crisis. And he does that. Back at the lake, Chef Noel and his wife Jackie are preparing a tasty meal for the new integrated community clerkship students and residents. Gets the mood right for the year. Will his efforts pay off in convincing some of these students to someday practice rurally? Based on his history, chances are the answer is yes. Congratulations, Dr. Noel DeCuna, for being selected as the 2023 RPAP Rhapsody Rural Physician Award recipient. It's a very well-deserved award. Dr. DeCuna, I cannot thank you enough for everything you've done for myself and my family over the years. You are truly 
Put your patience first. I hope this brings you much joy as you have brought to myself, my family, and our community. I'm so very excited for you that you've won this award and we're all very proud of you. Congratulations, Dr. Dakuna. You're the best. You love your work. You love working with your patients and working with the staff in your clinic and in the hospital and other healthcare settings. So congratulations from me, the whole family, and I know your mom and dad will be very proud.